Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you are not familiar with who I am, my name is Diani Neves. I'm a Christian blogger, influencer, mentor, and mouthpiece for the Lord, which means that I share the prophetic messages he gives me for my brothers and sisters in Christ. genuinely was not expecting to come on tonight with this prophetic word that I'm about to share with you all. God gave it to me early, early this morning. And at the time that I'm releasing this, it is March 4th, um, Saturday, March 4th. Sorry if you can hear some, y'all hear that? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm at my wits end. I promise you, I think I'm going to cry during this video because the warfare has been insane lately. It's crazy. Um, it's not crazy. It's, it's, it is what it is, right? But today has been so rough for me. I promise you the person or whoever it is that's walking around like an elephant upstairs, they weren't doing that right before I started recording or um, planning to record. And the moment it, it hit me, oh, I have to release this word tonight, God. He was like, yes, that started happening. I'm so irritated. I've prayed against it. I've rebuked it, but it is what it is at this point. And God is telling me to press forward. So I'm going to go ahead with this prophetic word. Hopefully it's not too annoying for you guys, but this is going to be a very encouraging word despite the atmosphere, despite my demeanor. It is a very encouraging word for you all. This is a word that is specific to those of you who are coming out of your wilderness season. This is encouragement for you. Um, and God has confirmed it to you that you are coming out. <sighs> oh my goodness, I think the person upstairs just left. Cause I just heard, I heard them like thonking all on the stairs cause there's stairs going up here on, on my right hand side. And then I heard them, like I heard the gate open and close. So I pray that they're gone throughout the entirety of me recording this, okay? But this is going to be um, confirmation. God has been telling you, you are exiting your wilderness, but it does not feel like it. It absolutely feels like, I said earlier, you're at your wits end. And um, there's been like this immense shaking like there's been a lot of warfare and everything that god has told you everything that he's confirmed to you in the past few years the past few months you've been finding yourself questioning it you've been finding yourself feeling like you are literally out of your mind and you're not sure if you've been hearing god correctly i know for myself personally i have been in a posture of just really wanting to make sure okay god you know, I don't like to ask you for a bunch of confirmation, but I want to make sure that I have been hearing you correctly. I want to make sure that I'm not outside of your will. And he has been confirming and reassuring. And it has been so rough. Um, it's been so rough. But this is for those of you that that applies to as well. And you are um, coming out of your wilderness. So some of you guys might have seen in my most recent community post that I posted earlier today that last night, the evening of the 3rd, um, March 3rd, I was going through quite a bit of warfare and I decided to go to bed early because I just, I could not deal and I felt God telling me to just rest. And honestly, I think it was more me <laughs> trying to run away from what I was feeling and he allowed me to just take some melatonin and knock out. And... I thought I was going to sleep through the night like a baby and he woke me up at around midnight. I think I woke up around midnight because it took me like 20-ish minutes to actually check the time on my phone because when I woke up, he was prompting me to look at the time and I was not trying to look at the time. I tried to go back to sleep, okay? And then when I finally looked at the time, it was 1224. Let me go look up what that number means because he's just now reminding me of that. Give me a moment. I kid y'all not. 1224 okay in strong's greek concordance means um the phonetic spelling is d a b a i n o okay but it means it means to step across oh my goodness it means to step across to come over um to pass through and then further down it says in the englishman's concordance for the greek translation they who desire to pass from here to I my heart is racing right now. I didn't I didn't think to look this up. Or I was just going through so much. I didn't it did not cross my mind. Um, and God gave me this entire download um, 
around 5.40, well actually it was like 4, um, 4.40 something and it took me some time to put it into my notes. So anywhere from like 4.40 to like 5.30 in the morning is when he gave me this word. And then he gave me a final tidbit um, right before I got on camera. So that's what 12.24 symbolizes. So that's just even further encouragement and confirmation for those of you that this word is for, that you are indeed about to come through and pass through. Um, and leave and exit your wilderness and you're about to cross over into your promised land okay and that's why it's been so rough i saw in another sister in christ's video um i can't remember her name but i'm gonna see if i can link it in the description box she had mentioned god mentioned through her rather that it's towards the end of your wilderness when the enemy comes at you the hardest and that ain't nothing but the truth okay so when god um prompted me to start putting together this word i had actually just got done crying early 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 this morning okay so it had to have been around four something in the morning um and i had been crying for some for a little bit and then i think i laid down and um, I closed my eyes and i had a vision and i was like oh my goodness um and it was beautiful it was very very quick and in this vision i saw um a strawberry on a bush okay and i saw a hand like reach towards this strawberry on the bush and then pick it off and then retreat back towards the person's body you know and then um i realized that that person that i was watching you know pick the strawberry and then pull it back towards them was literally me so i was watching myself from someone else's point of view um almost as if they were standing right in front of me i saw myself put the strawberry up to my mouth from the stem and i bit into it and as i did it was noticeable that the strawberry was really juicy and i was clearly surprised and pleased by this like it was unexpected how refreshing it would be to me in the vision my eyes got wide and they had like this sparkle in them i looked so happy and then i smiled and i said it's so sweet to whoever i was talking to okay y'all forgive me i was done with the video i put my hair up and everything but as i was editing um and i was at the part where god gave me the vision about the strawberry being picked um as i heard myself mention that i saw my hand go and pick the strawberry god said it's yours for the taking what I have for you is going to be sweet. This door that I have for you to walk through, this promised land, this promise that I have for you, the, the promises that I've told you you are about to walk into, all of it is yours for the taking. Okay, he wants you to, thank you Holy Spirit, he wants you to seize it. Thank you God, he wants you to seize it and take it by force. Um, and that's going to look however he wants it to look for you i know for me that looked like me coming out of agreement with the enemy early this morning and yesterday for you that may look like following a certain instruction that he's given you um that may look like taking a leap of faith okay so get in his presence ask him what that looks like for you but he's encouraging you that what he has for you um in some way shape or form thank you god he's going to be placing it before you Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's um, he's highlighting that what he has for you is for you, but you still have to make the choice to receive it and to um, embrace it and welcome it. And he's showing me um, a lot of his children who are trusting him for God-ordained marriage. You still have to accept the person he's bringing into your life, especially those of you who um are trusting him for reconciliation meaning he's given you that promise and he's told you to stand on that because that's his will for your life you may have been praying for this person but there's still the matter of receiving them when they return okay the enemy will absolutely be hitting you with last minute attacks making you feel like um maybe you don't actually want what you've been praying to god for what you've been trusting him for maybe you're not actually ready so god needs you to make sure that your heart is open to receive what he has for you to receive the people that he's bringing into your life the opportunities the new doors the new ventures whatever the case may be okay it is yours for the taking do not let bouts of insecurity and doubt and confusion and inferiority complex from the enemy keep you from receiving what god has for you 
God is encouraging you right now that if you are currently finding yourself in a place where you are feeling like maybe you're not ready, maybe you're not sure that you want what God has for you, which is nothing but the enemy because you've been through too much to give up on what God is doing in your life right now. You've come way too far. No. Um, he's encouraging you that it's going to be everything you could have ever hoped for and more. He's encouraging you that it is going to be beautiful, but as beautiful as it's going to be that he's already shown you and given you glimpses of, it's going to be so much sweeter, so much more refreshing, so much more invigorating and exciting and juicy. There's so much wrapped up in these promises that you aren't even expecting, okay? And now before we get into all the numbers that God gave me, all the scripture that he led me to, he does want me to mention that in this particular Airbnb that I'm in, they have different units, okay, like different suites. So this is the third suite that I'm in in this particular location, and I've been here for about three days now in this particular suite. When I came here, okay, I remember noticing that the microwave was set to a different time. Um, or it's like someone had put food in there and they had let the food heat up and then they took the food out before the timer went off, but they didn't cancel the time that was left. I cannot remember. I think it was like 31 seconds. I can't remember. So, um, but I know that I tried to go to cancel it when I noticed that to see what time it was because normally on their microwaves, they have the time like the actual time on there and this one didn't have a time it literally said zero 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 so i tried to reset the clock so that i could adjust the time so that i don't have to look at my phone all the time because it's literally right there and it wouldn't work it literally would not let me reset the time like it's stuck on zero 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 okay okay i just wanted to give you guys a visual of what this looked like so this is what it looked like when i came here and then i hit cancel because there was already like 31 seconds on here and then when i tried setting it it did not work now now that i'm trying this it's actually working like i was able to figure it out but it still stands for the purpose of this video and god has been putting it on my heart the past few days but it was only this morning after he gave me that vision about the strawberry that he started to really speak to me about what he was saying i had a feeling but he really he went into a whole lot of detail okay when he was highlighting the zero 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 to me the fact that time is out essentially he spoke it's time this morning to me okay he wants me to highlight the fact that i've been here for three days this is something he's had on my heart for the past three days and he's been showing me three 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 he's been putting the number three on my heart amongst other numbers that we're going to get into here in a little bit and again this is not new age numerology angel numbers no we are speaking from strong's concordance okay strong's hebrew and greek definition for god's numbers god God's meaning of the numbers that he created it all right jumping into the strongs concordance for the number three the hebrew meaning for the number three is freshness fresh green for strong's greek concordance for the number 33 it means come with an exclamation point like beckoning um, it means come now to properly lead to go all right and then for strong's greek concordance for the number 333 it means to observe carefully properly to consider thoroughly to pay very close attention to um to grasp the fuller meaning of something to behold to look again and then he gave me scripture about this particular part of the word all right and regarding the time he gave me revelation 3 verse 11 that says i am coming soon hold fast what you have so that no one may seize your crown he gave me habakkuk 2 3 which says for still the vision awaits its appointed time it hastens to the end it will not lie if it seems slow wait for it it will surely come it will not delay and then he gave me ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 which says he has made everything beautiful in its time also he has put eternity into man's heart yet so that he cannot find out what god has done from the beginning to the end and then after this he wanted me to mention that this particular word and the vision that he gave me with the strawberry is in reference to two prophetic words he's given me in the past one is titled your life will be sweet and then the other is um in one week to one month in which he literally spoke to me through strawberries and dessert and spring as well something that's going to be confirmation to a few of you that he's been putting on my heart for the past few weeks is this phrase christmas in spring 
okay christmas in spring so as we are getting ready to enter the spring season he is encouraging a lot of his children to expect the things that they have been trusting him for it's not necessarily about the holiday of christmas but more so um, the spirit of anticipation, the spirit of miracles, the spirit of receiving the blessings that God has promised you, receiving the um, the gifts that God has for you, okay? He's referring to kingdom marriage. He is referring to spiritual and physical freedom, to new opportunities and experiences. He's referring to financial breakthrough. There is so much that this entails for the body of Christ, okay? And in those two prophetic words, um, he was really, really emphasizing that you know what you are about to step into is going to be sweeter than what you have been experiencing your life has been bitter up until this point you've had sweet moments you've had sweet experiences with him but um and really he's thank you god it's like you have the joy of the lord which gets you through everything you've been going through but as a whole you cannot genuinely call yourself happy because there are particular promises that he has made you that you have been trusting him for throughout your wilderness and um the weight that this promise has on you has had on you and over you it's 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 kind of um I don't want to say sucking the life out of you, but it's heavy. It's a really heavy weight. And he's saying that with, thank you, Holy Spirit, with the breakthrough that you are about to experience walking into your promised land, it is going to take this weight off of you. You are going to be able to sit back, let your hair down, which I'll link that video up here, and then take a breath of fresh air. He is acknowledging that you need a breath of fresh air and that is what he is getting ready to release over your life. He gave me a scripture referring to the bit about your life being made sweet. This is Exodus 15 verses 22 through 26, which says, Then Moses made Israel set out from the Red Sea, and they went into the wilderness of Shur. They went three days in the wilderness and found no water. When they came to Marah, they could not drink the water of Marah because it was bitter. Therefore, it was named Marah. And the people grumbled against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a log and he threw it into the water and the water became sweet there the lord made for them a statute and a rule and there he tested them saying if you will diligently listen to the voice of the lord your god and do that which is right in his eyes and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes i will put none of the diseases on you that i put on the egyptians for i am the lord your healer okay so Again, the situation that you've been finding yourself in, especially towards the end of your wilderness, um, and I can definitely relate to this bit, uh, I'm definitely speaking from experience, has been extremely bitter, uncomfortable. You have been stretched beyond being stretched. Like you feel like you are, like I said, at your wits end. You feel like there you can't take it anymore. Like if God doesn't step in and if he doesn't come through for you right now, you don't know if you can make it. And we always say that and then he always shows us that we have a little bit more in us and I I won't lie, sometimes I'm not a fan of that. Like I want this to be the last God. Like I want this to be all that I can give so you can step in and come through for me because I I can't like I'm spent. I am spent. I am depleted. I I feel like I have nothing else to give and it's oh it feels like it's just been rolling over um kind of like uh, I'm, I'm seeing or, or hearing like snowball effect like everything has just been happening one after the other back to back to back to back and it's like i know speaking personally i feel like i have not been able to catch a break and i've just been so you know what i mean so he is saying your situation has been bitter and even in this situation he's been providing for you but especially as you're getting ready to exit it and walk into your promised land he is making um a pact a covenant with you he is imploring with you to not thank you holy spirit to not forget where he's taken you from to not forget all of the things that he's taught you throughout this process and this journey to not take him for granted and um especially for those of you who are getting ready to walk into your god-ordained marriage that he has for you his daughters especially your relationship with him is going to change in that now as you're being connected with your god-ordained husband you are to look to your husband as he is looking to god 
Not that you won't have a relationship with God, but the relationship has to change so that the relationship can reflect God and um, Jesus' sacrifice for the church as he intends for it to. He wants to make sure that you are truly prepared emotionally and mentally for that shift because we can want something and we can be begging him and praying for these things and we can be warring for these things and we can be fasting for them, but when it happens, like it's done and there's, there's no going back. He's also saying through the scripture that he's heard your cry. He's heard your complaints. He's heard your concerns. He has heard your heart and he is stepping in and he is um, providing a log for the water, so to speak. He's about to throw, thank you, God. He's about to throw something into your situation, into your life. I have chills, you guys. I can feel the Holy Spirit so strong. He's about to throw something into your situation to turn it around in your favor, to make a way out of no way. Okay, who who throws a log into water to make it sweet? Only God. Only God. So this, this thing is not something that um, you would think, um, you know, would be the out for you or your out, your way out. So God is just saying, keep your eyes peeled. Like he was mentioning earlier through the meaning of 333 in Strong's Greek Concordance, to observe carefully, properly, to consider thoroughly, to pay very close attention to, okay, to grasp the fuller meaning, to get the full picture. God has been saying and putting on my heart, for the past weekends and change to look again to go back and make sure that you have your eyes dotted and your t's crossed so that you um, are fully prepared for what he's about to drop on you because he's about to answer your prayer it's already been answered but you're about to see it in the physical you are about to witness it with your own two eyes no more thank you god this is something you had me share in another prophetic word i can't remember which one it was but he's saying and confirming to those of you that this is for that it's it's no longer just going to be prophetic words and like dreams that you have to sit with him to interpret and um you know like him you know confirming things to you in a day-to-day -day, like he'll speak to you through certain numbers or he'll show you certain things that are significant to what you're trusting him for um or you'll just receive personal revelation he's saying that you're going to receive physical concrete evidence that he is coming through for you okay and he's saying that when it happens you will know and keep your eyes peeled because it's not necessarily going to look how you expected it to a lot of you he's saying that this is an answer to a direct and specific prayer and he's laid out guidelines he's laid out specifics and details to you but even then it's not going to happen at the time you think it's not going to happen um in the manner that you're expecting it to another number that he wanted me to divulge i guess for you guys is the number five and the same that he did with the number three he had me go into five fifty five and five 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 okay so strong's greek concordance for the number five means abba father okay in an affectionate dependent relationship with their father aka daddy aka papa and then strong's hebrew concordance for the number 55 is to turn to mount up all right and then strong's greek concordance for the number 555 is a stripping off laying aside and or wholly putting away from oneself what he's about to do the way that he's about to come through for you your relationship with him as his daughter as his son and and him being your father like this is nothing but the love that he has for you truthfully he is um acknowledging everything you've been feeling everything you've been going for all of the sacrifices you've been making all of the prayers that you've prayed all of your consistency and and your consistency in getting back up even when you fell and you faltered and you wavered at times and you were lacking faith and you gave in to doubt and you gave in to confusion from the enemy he's acknowledging that and he's letting you know i love you so much I'm about to do this for you because I love you. I'm your father. And he's really just highlighting the fact that ultimately over everything, he is your father, okay? And he loves you. Your situation is about to turn around. You are about to be mounted up on eagle's wings. You are about to soar, which if you all have seen my most recent videos, he's been speaking about that consistently okay he's been confirming that consistently even during the videos he's been having me record okay he's been talking about planes he's been talking about taking off 
all these different exciting things. And then um, a stripping off, laying aside, whatever he's calling you to leave behind as you are stepping into your new, it is not worth trying to hold on to. You do not want to be walking into your promised land with dead weight on your shoulders, with dead weight on your back, okay? So if there is something or someone or an opportunity um, or you know an experience or whatever the case that only served you for a season or never served you at all that he's been calling you to put off, to separate yourself from, it's worth doing that. Okay, he gave me scripture specifically about sacrifice, the first one being Luke 9, 23, which says, And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. He also gave me John three sixteen, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And then he also gave me Mark 10, verse 21, which says, And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him you lack one thing go sell all that you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me so really through these scriptures god is um he's really highlighting the fact that if anyone knows what it is to truly sacrifice it's him he he gave us his son and it's literally impossible for you to experience all that god wants you to truly experience in the magnitude he wants you to experience um it in your promised land if you are refusing to let go of things from your past if you're refusing to let go of things that um were only meant to be in your life for a particular period of time and then you were you were to separate from and this last scripture really touched me because through this um god was speaking to me that it can be the the one thing or the few things that you feel you need most in order to progress and move forward that will literally hold you back from all that he has for you. He was encouraging this man in this scripture, you lack one thing. Go and sell all that you currently have in order to obtain what you so desperately seek, what you so desperately crave, what you need, right? In me, in your savior, your creator. I think that's so beautiful and that's something that really hit me. And then later on today, after I woke up super late because I took two melatonin. He woke me up after three hours of sleeping. So when I did finally knock out after spending hours with him warring and crying and praying, I I was knocked out, okay? So when I finally did wake up, I ended up doing that all over again because it was, I was just, it was so rough. And I thought we were good and then like, I warfare for you okay so we're going through that and as i'm talking to him he puts it on my heart to look up the number four in strong's concordance and this is again hours after he downloaded this entire word and so this is the last little bit that he gave me for you all and four in strong's concordance means fruit um, there was an example later on down on the web page that says was beautiful and it's fruit abundant um and so this is just further confirmation that what you're about to step into you are finally about to see the fruit of all of the seeds that you've been sowing in tears in blessing others in ministering to and encouraging others in serving the lord and serving as he's called you to serve in sacrificing what he's called you to sacrifice going where he's told you to go giving up what he's told you to give up you know um embracing what he's told you to embrace releasing what he's told you to release um you know receiving what he's told you to receive and all these different things you know that have made up your journey up until this point you are about to see the fruit and you are about to walk in the abundance of your promised land in the future when you share your testimony when you share your story you're going to look back and you're going to share with others that as you exited your wilderness as you walked into what god had for you and you're describing it you're gonna describe it with such awe and you're going to be able to say it was beautiful and it was abundant and it was nothing that i had ever envisioned for myself it was all that god promised me um and more because god is a god he is a father of doing exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask think or imagine 
and a lot of you guys, including myself, are at a point where um, it's, it's getting hard to even receive encouraging words like this because your situation is literally, it feels like a slap in the face, like, <laughs> and the enemy has been bullying you, essentially, but you are so close. You have no idea how close you are. You have no idea. You have no idea how close you are. And the fact that the enemy is coming at you so hard is proof of that. It is literally proof. So God has put it on my heart to go ahead and come into agreement with you guys through prayer and just cover you all. And although this isn't a live video where two or more are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst. So I encourage you to shut off all distractions. It's probably not gonna be very long at all, but um, I'm gonna allow Holy Spirit to flow and I, I want to encourage you to just close your eyes and invite Holy Spirit in and receive what God is about to do for you. Relinquish and surrender, I feel the Holy Spirit, relinquish and surrender all expectations and simply thank Him and receive Him and open your heart to what He is doing, okay? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we first and foremost just want to thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, your abundant love, your abundant affection and comfort when we are weak, when we are weary, when we don't even have the words to say or express how we are feeling when we feel like we are at our wits end you always pick us back up and if we don't feel like getting back up you allow us to lay down in the palm of your hand we have no idea where we would be without you god and we repent and we apologize for complaining and bickering and moaning and groaning and always allowing the enemy to get to us and affect how we view you and affect how we view this promise because none of us is perfect and all of us have fallen short of your glory so in jesus name we receive your forgiveness we receive the love that you have towards us and we ask your heavenly father that you would give us the supernatural grace to cover our hearts and to guard our hearts regarding the promises that you have for us. We ask that you would give us the supernatural grace to continue to perceive you and what you've spoken over our lives, what you've promised us through your eyes. We ask Jesus that you would ensure that we have the ears to hear your instruction, your direction, your voice, and we have the grace to follow the leading of your Holy Spirit amidst all of the, the chaos and the confusion that the enemy is trying to, to keep us bound with. We ask God that you would give us the strength that we need to get through these last days, these last weeks of the wilderness because those, thank you Holy Spirit, those that this word is for, you are days away from your promise. You are weeks away from your promise in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for continued supernatural confirmation, revelation, insight, and direction. We thank you that if there is anything that we are um, believing or trusting you for or waiting for that is not in your will for us, that you would show us again and give us the grace to be obedient and receive your will for us. We thank you, God, that if there is something that we have been instructed to do, if there somewhere that we have been instructed to go, an instruction that we have been given to follow, um, that you would bring that to the forefront of our mind and give us the grace to be obedient. We thank you for sending angels ahead of us on your behalf to pave the way for us to step into our promised land. We thank you that it will be sweet. It will... Do y'all hear that? <laughs> Let me tell you right now, the enemy is mad, okay? The enemy is mad. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for confirming that your will is the end-all, be-all, and there is nothing that the enemy can do to stop what you have in store for us. We thank you for the warfare because it is a sign. It is a sign that you are moving on our behalf. We thank you, God, for the grace to get back up every time the enemy tries to trip us and make us fall down and keep us down. We thank you, Jesus, for joy. We thank you, Jesus, for peace that surpasses all understanding. We thank you for the miracles, the signs, the wonders, the excitement, the surprises, the breakthroughs, the open doors that we are about to experience. And I come into agreement with your children's hearts 
desires, things that you have put on their heart to expect. I thank you, God, for their personal miracle, their personal breakthrough. I thank you, God, that as I am praying with them and as I am coming into agreement with them, that you are honoring our prayer, that you are... No way. I can't help but laugh. Like, there's such an urgency on this word, and I could be frustrated right now, but I feel like that's... Y'all, I feel like God is really speaking. He has absolutely been speaking these past few videos. So if this word is for you right now, you will know. And you're going to see such a swift turnaround. You are going to see such speedy manifestation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm expecting y'all's testimonies to come in. Where was I in that prayer, God? I don't even know where I was at, but I thank you, Jesus, that as we are coming into agreement that you are hearing us as a collective and you are honoring our prayers, you are honoring our faith. And I thank you, Jesus, that everyone that this word pertains to, they are going to have a swift and speedy turnaround and they are going to receive their testimony in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, that um, those of your children who are waiting on a response, on a proposal, on an offer, um, on an acceptance letter on um you know the acceptance of a particular application for whatever it is that you told them to apply for i thank you that that approval is done in jesus name i thank you god that whatever communication your children are awaiting on regarding an answer regarding their way out regarding what you have told them to expect i thank you that that communication is coming in the name of jesus i thank you that no weapon formed against the open doors that you have for your children shall prosper i thank you god that whatever leads of faith that you need us to take that you need them to take they will take it in the name of jesus they will know that they know that they know that you are the one telling them to walk through that door i thank you that those of your children who are awaiting a financial breakthrough in the name of jesus they are going to receive the finances that they are trusting you for exceedingly abundantly more than they could ask think or imagine i thank you that whatever you told them to prepare to do that they are um, in need of finances for they are going to have exactly what they need to go or to do whatever you've told them they need to do or wherever they need to go and then some in the name of Jesus they will not be lacking in Jesus name they will not just have just enough they will have what they need and more I thank you for mental, spiritual, emotional, um, and physical freedom. I thank you for lifting these burdens off of your children's shoulders. I thank you that Thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you that in areas where they just needed clarity, where they just needed peace and courage and confidence to take a leap of faith and do what you put on their heart to do, that final confirmation is coming in and they are going to have supernatural peace that this is the will of God, that this is the direction that they are meant to take, that this is the person they are meant to be with, that this is the job they are meant to apply for, that this is the city, the state, the country that they are meant to live in, that this is the car they are meant to own, that this is the dog they're meant to own that this is the child they're meant to adopt thank you jesus that this is the child they're meant to foster your will comes with peace and clarity and i thank you god for ensuring that the enemy has to shut his mouth and he can no longer keep your children from doing um what you've called them to do from being who you've called them to be from going where you've called them to go in jesus mighty name we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, and we can't wait to share our testimonies in your perfect timing. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. That is the word that I have for you guys. I pray that it blessed you. I feel like, I just feel so much relief. Like, I really needed to get that out. I was not in the mood to release a word. I was actually still feeling pretty poopy, trying to distract myself, and... I could feel God telling me like I need this word to get out like someone needs this word and clearly I really needed to release it because I feel a lot better now um, but I pray that this word finds you in God's perfect timing I love you guys remember that God loves you so much more I will see you in my next video bye